What's up everyone? Today we are going to be doing a, another setup video. Now this one I have moved again and I had the opportunity to revamp a little bit. You'll see I have some greenhouse cabinets on either side of my bookshelf and I actually took away a whole desk. This video is not really going to center around my surroundings but more so just on the desk itself and all the peripherals that I'm running. So it should actually be a really quick video. If I gloss over anything, or if you're wanting to know about anything in a little bit more depth, because really I'm just going to be hitting on the product names as we go through, please feel free to drop that in the comments below. That being said, thank you so much for watching and let's dive right in. All right, we're gonna zoom right in on the Stream Deck MK.2. I use this for a little bit of soundboard action when I'm playing games with my friends. I do need to dive into the utility a little bit more on that one. Then we've got my Rode Pod mic sitting on the Rode PSA One Plus. I really do enjoy the, the aesthetic of this mic. I think it looks really nice. Obviously, I wish it came in white, but hey, I'm not gonna complain too much. I think the audio quality is good. And drop me a comment below if you think the audio quality actually sounds good or if you're having any issues with my vocals. Normally hanging on that is my Steel Series headset. I initially bought this for my PS5 and it ended up transitioning over to my PC setup. All of my audio currently runs through the Go XLR Mini. I've been really enjoying this device once I figured out how to use it. I did have some issues initially with some echoing when I was playing online with my friends, but it's really fun to be able to play music and games and have a little bit more control over some of my audio preferences. This is the work corner. We do not talk about the work corner. No one cares about the work corner. Moving on. Looking at my desk, we have the Logitech G915 10 keyless keyboard the Corsair M65 wireless gaming mouse. We have the Logitech Aurora gaming mouse pad. And then we have the Grovemade extra large light gray wool mouse pad, desk pad rather. Behind that, we have our Ergotron tall monitor arms. Sitting on those, we have the Acer Predator 27 inch and the Alienware ultra-wide OLED monitor. Powering that, we have the PowerSpec G470. Behind that, the Elgato key light to provide a little extra light for videos and Zoom meetings that I have throughout the day. And then on top of that, we have the Logitech Brio, also used for A, logging onto my computer, but B, we use it for some meetings as well. Everything is sitting on a custom piece of butcher block that I did for the desktop. And then an autonomous standing desk is supporting everything beneath it. Beneath that, we have the orange poof that replaced my football helmet that I was previously resting my feet on. And then I sit daily in my secret lab Titan extra large. Like I said, that was a really, really quick breeze through the entire setup and the peripherals that I'm running. I will have everything linked in the comment section below. If you have any follow-up questions or comments for me, please feel free to throw those in the comment section. And I do wanna know, what do you think of my setup? Personally, I'm really enjoying it. I have a lot more space to get cluttered. I mean, to keep clean, I mean, uh, to, to actually use, I do use it. Actually, that was a good one. I use it, but I feel like I have a lot more space, even though I actually have probably less desk space. I really like the depth of just this but butcher block countertop that I decided to use. And I think the whole setup is a lot more cohesive than it has been in previous iterations. Regardless, I care about your thoughts. Let me know if there's anything that you would change, what you would do personally different in your setup. Now, that doesn't mean I'm asking you to bash my setup, but more so just curious what some of the differences in your personality are and how you would change things to better suit your needs. 
I do appreciate you all so much for watching, and I hope that you have a great rest of your day. Thanks again.